Okay, I'm about to go do something today and I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. So let me walk you through my thought process, okay? I feel like I am at the point where I am ready to become a pet owner. Um, and I am thinking of getting a cat, a little kitty. I know, I know, I've been a dog person my whole life. If you haven't heard me say it before, my apartment building, you can have any pet you want except a dog. So getting a dog is not an option for me, but I can get a cat. The problem is I am allergic to some cats, not all. So I've been doing so much research the past couple weeks to just make a proper informed decision. I'm learning all about the FELD1 protein that cats carry, some carry more than others. I'm learning about hair types, you know, one coat of fur versus three coats of fur, you know, the maintenance, the grooming, the all that. So I am trying to make the best informed decision so that I could find the right cat type for me. So right now the two breeds that I am looking for specifically are Russian Blues or Persians. Um, two very different types of hair, but Persians I know I'm okay with and Russian Blues I'm curious because I've read so many, you know, Reddit threads and so many articles written by people with allergies that have Russian Blues and that they are fine, but you know, it depends. It's, it's a person by person sort of thing. Of course, things can change, so I'm not saying I'm gonna get one of those two, but for right now, those are in the forefront of my mind. I have been on Pet Finder every day pretty much for the past couple weeks looking at cats that are in need of finding a home that are ready to be adopted um, in shelters around me but i want to go to an actual like puppy kitten shop in my area today just because they'll allow me to go in and like sit in a room with that specific breed and i want to just see how my allergies function do they do they flare up do i feel nothing that kind of thing so that's what i want to do today so i'm not getting a cat today i'm not getting a cat next week this is going to be a long process I'm, I'm thinking more like early 2024 like in january um but i kind of want to get the ball rolling because i don't want to keep researching russian blues if i get there and my allergies are going to flare up so i want to go meet some kitties today and i'm so excited I'm also nervous because it's like becoming real. It is a big responsibility, you know, and it's caring for another life. Um, cats are pretty self-sufficient, but they still need a lot of love and a lot of attention and a lot of care. So it's a big deal. Um, that's why I'm doing it very slowly and I'm just informing myself and teaching myself little by little. Um, but I am so excited. So I thought I would document this whole process. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I don't know. Only God knows really how this journey is gonna go. <sighs> Let's do it. Okay, so I just got back in the car. I was just sitting two seconds ago with the kittens. I got to sit with two blue Russians and two Persians, two sets of siblings. And first of all, they're so cute, both of them. Um, but I don't know if you can tell, I am Sniffle City right now. I got only one sneeze, um, but I was talking to the woman and um, the woman that worked there and she was saying and I agree with her It's hard to tell because you walk in there and all the animals all the breeds are all in one room So you walk in and it just smells like Petco like you know that that animal smell so it's hard to tell and so I told her You know, I'd like to come back a couple times because that's the only way I'm really gonna know and she said absolutely, but How am I gonna tell if that's the room that you're always in? You know, it's all in one room. So I definitely, like, I was only in there for maybe 25 minutes. And my nose and my throat are super itchy. So it was a good starting point for sure. I'm glad that I went. Um, a little discouraging just because I feel like I didn't get to learn as much as I wanted to about, you know, my allergies and stuff. It was a good first step, but now I just gotta keep doing, you know, more research and asking around. And this isn't the one and only place, you know, near me that has animals. There are plenty of shelters and stuff. Um, so, you know, this was a good first step in our journey. So I will see you guys next time. Hello, okay, so it is a couple of weeks later and I am actually going to get my first ever allergy test today. I'm doing it for two reasons. One, I'm doing it for 
my nut allergy and for EpiPen purposes. But while I'm there, I'm also going to ask for a workup um, regarding, you know, animals and dander and all that. Just again, to make an informed decision. I've still been doing so much research, still doing, you know, pet finder searches almost every day. But I feel like until I know exactly kind of what my allergy is, the research is kind of not pointless, but you know, it's just not as concrete. So I really don't want to make it like a guessing game when adoption time comes. So I am getting a skin scratch test today, I believe. Uh, I've never had one of these before. I don't know if they're doing it on my arm, on my back. I have no idea. I'm, I'm a little not nervous, but I'm not really looking forward to it, but I'm excited to see what my results are. So I will keep you guys updated as we do it. Okay, so two hours later and I'm done. I was there way longer than I thought I was going to be, but it went well. I'm glad I did it. So he tested me for a whole bunch of things. Some things were surprising. First of all, my nut allergy came back negative, which doesn't make sense. Um, but he believes me, so that's why I got the blood test, just to be a little more specific about that. Um, I still got my EpiPen, all the good things. Um, as far as the other stuff... The thing that I was the most allergic to, and by the way, it was so itchy, so irritable. I didn't take videos in there, but I'll try to like post videos or like little Snapchats I took here so that you can see um, my arm. Basically, he, he pricks you and the things that you're allergic to, you'll blow up and you'll get hives like in that area. Kind of cool, um, very irritating, very itchy, and you can't touch it, but it was kind of cool. So the biggest thing I was allergic to actually was dust and like dust mites, which most people are kind of allergic to, but I, I guess I had a really bad reaction to it, which I don't notice in my everyday life, which I told him. Cats and dogs, yes, but not nearly as much, which is, that actually gives me hope. Um, I'm still going to aim for a cat that is low in allergens, low in the F and the Fel D1 protein, um, but it just gives me hope and it also tells me that no matter what cat I get I'm just gonna have to he told me what air purifier to get and just things that, to do around the house to be able to cope and live with the cat so um, it gave me it gave me hope I'm also allergic to trees and grass which again I don't have seasonal allergies so a little surprising but you know whatever he's the professional I'm not gonna say he's wrong I know that regardless of what cat I get it's gonna be work it's gonna change my lifestyle but I think it's gonna be worth it. So we're one step closer, guys. Hi guys, so it is December 21st. I just had a appointment with my allergist this morning and I'm sitting here with my test results. Um, <laughs> it was one of those meetings where, you know, it could have been an email, but it's okay. So I'm looking at my blood test results. And so your blood to be normal should be around 0 0.10 0 0.30 okay the nuts we won't even talk about because that's not what this video is about but the cat part <laughs> i'm supposed to be between 0 0.10 and 0 0.30 i am 3.6 when it comes to cats so that's a class three i'm allergic but like we knew this this is not new news and it's it's Specifically because they break it down. It's the fel d1 that I'm allergic to that. It's that's 3.2 alone fel d2 is 0.2 and the fel d4 is 0.6 So not horrible. So it's the fel d1. So I Yeah, I'm I, it's not really new information, but I'm gonna have to be more careful So right now the breed that I am focused on and again, I've been doing a lot of research is the Siberian breed, which is wild because they have a lot of hair. They have three layers of fur, but that actually helps people with allergies because three layers of fur keeps the Fel D1 proteins kind of trapped so they're not as airborne. And also Siberians just produce less Fel D1 than pretty much any other cat breed from what I am noticing. And every video I have watched, every article I have read from people with allergies say that they have absolutely no problems with their Siberians. Now, of course, it's a, it's a case to case basis, but that is the breed that I am focusing on right now. And I want to go, you know, I don't know where, but I want to go sit with some and just see how my allergies do. And of course, my allergist said probably what some of you are thinking, well, if you're allergic to cats, just don't get a cat. 
but I have I know for a fact that people with allergies have cats you just have to find the right breed for you and for your allergies my dad's allergic to cats he has a cat my sister has a cat whom I have used as a pillow and I'm fine with him so it just depends on the breed that being said now I'm struggling a little bit with the idea of I probably won't be able to adopt from a shelter as much as I want to I have filled out applications for shelters I looked at the shelters every day for months because I wanted to give one of them a home but unfortunately because of my allergies I am seeing that I may not be able to give those cats homes because I don't want to bring them home and then I can't love up on them and I can't, you know, enjoy them either because I, I literally can't live with them. It's, it's a, my health that I have to think about. Um, so with that being said, if you want to go the alternate route, I think it becomes your responsibility, my, so my responsibility to make sure that you are being responsible and doing your research about where you're getting your cat. So that's kind of where I'm in the process now. It's the week of Christmas, so again, I'm just kind of looking just to look. I'm not trying to make any moves yet, but that's the update. That's kind of where we are. So yes, I am allergic to cats, as we knew, and from my blood, you know, pretty allergic. Um, so the research continues, but that's where we are right now. Well, guys, I think I might have found my cat today. Uh, I don't have her with me anymore, but my mom was with me and this morning I went to sit with some Siberians My allergies were fine. I was literally like a freak I would like scratch them and then I was literally putting my fingers to my nose Just to see if there was any kind of reaction not one sneeze. I Feel really good about it. I got to meet some kittens. There's not much you can do with them because they are very young, so you don't want to mess with them too much. But I, I met the adult kittens. I met the grandma kittens. I met the whole family. And like I told you guys, I've been doing so much research, reading so many testimonials, researching what questions to ask when I go visit cats. And so far, everything is looking really good. They are growing up in a loving, loving home. Um, my mom even who does not like cats was hanging out with the cats and I don't think she hated it um, and so I feel really good about it they're so cute obviously they're so young and I'm gonna try to insert some pictures and videos here just so you can kind of see obviously they're not gonna be ready to go home for a little bit which is fine because I am not in a rush I need time to prepare buy things little by little but the next clip you see might very well be pickup day. Holy crud, that's crazy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you guys to meet him or her. So I'll see you guys hopefully soon. Okay, I know I said that the next video clip was gonna be from pickup day, but I just have to share these pictures with you because look at this little girl. Are we kidding with that face? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, I'm obsessed with her. So I get videos and pictures of her every week and she's just getting so big and she's so beautiful. Look at that face. She's got beautiful, beautiful blue eyes. They say she's growing perfectly she is learning this is a video she is potty training this week and is starting on solid foods and she's growing so well she looks like a little cotton ball and <laughs> she's just so cute i can't wait to have her here okay so the next clip that you see i promise is going to be from pickup day and she's gonna be coming home this is gonna be her new home so crazy. Okay, mom, you're about to be a grandma. How do you feel? I'm very excited. I'm very excited and I'm very happy for you. We're, it's, a, it's a big, it's a big thing to have some other little creature to take care of and it's comforting and it's loving and I'm really, really super excited for you. Yeah, so we're on the way to get her now. I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I hope she likes me, <laughs> and I hope she likes likes our apartment. I think she will. 
Um, I didn't tell you, Marissa texted me yesterday and she said, um, congratulations on the last day of your pregnancy. Wow, oh, that's cute. Because she's been calling me an expecting mother. So we're going to get her now. We'll be there in about 20 minutes. All her stuff is ready to go back there. And it's Super Bowl Sunday, so my stepdad is at my apartment. I hope that she can withstand his yelling because he may yeah. just freak her out. It might be a lot for her, but it's okay. Uh, or my yelling. Yeah, you guys have to be a little bit more tame today, but it's going to be great. Her first concert is going to be Usher. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah, he's waiting at home in his jersey. Game starts at like 6, so that's going to be her first night at home. So next time I think you see a recording, we're going to be we're going to be with her. With child. With child. <laughs> we say bye-bye. Oh, you know why? It's because this changed. Yes. Say bye-bye. Bye, mamas. I saw it briefly. Yep. That's me right here. Where? This one? That one? This one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? She's darling. Look at her. How could you not fall in love with this little thing? Her eyes are closed. Because she's sleeping. Because she's got grandma. Oh. Okay, go inside. Her first ride. It won't be the last time she'll be in Sammy's car. It's so quiet. Luna, hi, Mama. Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at those eyes. Hi. Hi, Joe. We're gonna go home, okay? Hopefully. What is it? There you go. That a girl. <laughs> there you go, you got it. Alright. See it, she. Come on, Mama. Come on. Hi. Come on. Look at that face. There you go. <laughs> Make the wrong way. Go ahead. Wow, she's big, go ahead. bigger. Go ahead. Come here. I take you out. Ready? She's awesome. Let's see where she goes. Yep, yeah, exactly. She's so tiny. Oh, sorry. There you go. She's all hair. She's so tiny. Hello. <laughs> Size reference with my feet. <laughs> so tiny. She's just fine, right, Sam? She's getting there. Yeah. Hey. What is this? Hmm? What is this? She's breaking my heart right now. So her mom and her siblings went into the carrier before we left. And so I think she's looking for them. And climbing my furniture. She misses her mama, I think. Hey, are you meowing? Are you meowing? Aww. I heard you meowing, I heard you. Feel her belly. <gasps> Aww. Got you, I got you. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> People. Look at her little leg. <laughs> she loves you. Oh.
Oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's falling asleep right now. I say you're not allowed to move for the next three hours. It's half time. It's almost half time. They're making nachos in the kitchen. Luna had her first meal. She had her first meal and now she is a sleepy little woman. She has literally not moved for the last 40 minutes. And she's just chilling. She's so sleepy. Thank God she's calming down. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And she don't even know. <laughs> Luna, you won the Super Bowl. Can we paint her red now? <laughs> oh. High five. High five? No. Nope. They got it. They did the dynasty, babes. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I have no idea what it's going to be, honestly, until I edit it because I've been filming for it for so long. But uh, I think we are getting acclimated to our surroundings. We had our first successful meal. We had our first successful poop. I feel like a real mom. I'm like, wow, she pooped in the potty. She did it. And I barely had to really teach her how to do it. Um, and she goes in and out of sleep. She's been sleeping a lot, but I feel like she's getting a burst of energy now. And I'd like to tire her out a little bit so that she sleeps tonight. But part of me thinks that I'm really not gonna get any sleep tonight. So we'll see. Um, but to get used to seeing this girl, She's gonna grow, she's gonna get a lot bigger, a lot bigger. Siberians get pretty big. I don't even know if I fully said her name. What's going on up here? I don't know if I said her name. Her name is Luna. She is a Siberian. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of her. She's gonna be like the mascot of both of my channels. Um, just like Maya was if you were there for the Maya days. My dog, Maya. I actually called her Maya today. By accident um, so that's gonna take some getting used to but um, it's Luna and I against the world now and she for whatever reason absolutely loves this pillow loves this pillow more than the bed that I bought her but it's okay so we're gonna call it a night even though wow, she's really just playing let me show you hey what are we doing what are we doing you love this thing don't you We're over it now? Are we over it? No, oh, you just want my finger. Okay, that's fine. So yes, there's gonna be a lot more Luna content. I'm gonna make an Amazon storefront for you guys in case any of you have any kitty friends and you want ideas of what to get them. I'm gonna make a kitty like essentials video at some point. Um, and <laughs> She's going to be around for a while, so you guys will see her very, very soon. But thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Luna, can you say goodbye? Say bye.